Over. Who was game enough to go in there? <laughs> that was hilarious. Holy crap. And yeah, and after many, many years, they built the house just here. And then from there, uh, quite a few years later, they built this garage. And my longtime friend, I grew up with many, many years ago. Many, well, actually, when we first moved in. Uh, I think they moved in mid mid 60s, late 60s. And uh, yeah, used to, I used to have motorbikes and everything there. Obviously the garage has been cleaned up uh, and the paint taken off because Dad was very cluey, very smart, restored motorbikes. And uh, it was always a challenge to see who would have the better one. Son Billy or the father Keith. Keith was into Velocets and Billy was into Nortons. And yeah, and roughly about here, well as you can see the drain right there. Well, there's a the drain just there, well the sewerage. Used to run right down there, so you can imagine there was no dirt roads, no footpaths, no nothing along here at all. It was just dirt, pure dirt roads. As I said, I wish I could project the pictures that I see as to compare to what they are now. And uh, yeah, so when they dug and put the sewers in, we used to play in the, in the trenches. And you imagine the nightmare you get into trouble now doing that. There'd be supports, uh, trench, trenches falling in. Didn't worry about it back then. Didn't have any gas, had the, obviously they had the electricity. Uh, telephone, we were one of the first ones to get the telephone line in. Uh, from there, what else did we get? Then you got the gas through, and every time it rained with the telecommunications, it used to go out all the time. God, memories. I remember the big gum tree. I actually had a little pool there as well. Unbelievable. Trees have grown. Those are the days from 1961-ish. Don't know exactly what date, never knew, never found out. Uh, right through till I think I moved out in 1981. Yes, that long ago. Gives you sort of an indication where I'm at at the moment. I could probably go through and name most of the people that live here. Ed and Eileen Preshart. I can't remember the old boy's name here. You know, Barbara and Keith, just just there. You know, Billy's workshop just there, which he put on the back there. God, these places look big. Incredible. So, I will go for a chuff up. We'll go for a walk around the block. Let's see what else we can see. But, oh, I just can't get over the change in the trees. The trees are all gone. And every planted pine trees of all bloody things. God, these places are so small. God, when I was young, this was so big. That used to be a rough and ready house. Oh, God, have a look at that. Who'd have thought? Just trying to think. That was the Anderson's house. Oh my God, this was the end. So the monastery you came all the way up to here, or did it? No, it was further up. So you get another view of how tall the trees were, the pine trees, and we could climb right to the very, very top on that particular one that I showed you, I pointed out. Unbelievable. And just as kids, it was massive, these trees all lined up across here. And during summer, or especially during winter, you wouldn't get much light coming across. Unbelievable. You can see even there, they've actually lopped some of the trees down there. No, pine trees. Probably a bit scourge, but I must admit though, on that particular one I climbed up, got to the top one day. I wasn't the only one. 
that could climb to the top. And I also wasn't the only one that fell down from, from top to the bottom. So you can imagine hanging on to the very top and looking over as 9, 10, 11 year old, 12 year old. What a feat that was to climb that. You had to have the guts and balls to do it. Yeah, I did, but on the same token, eh? I was also one of the few that actually fell all the way down. The old Homer Simpson style. Ouch, 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 all the way down. Ooh. I had the bruises, scratches, everything. Vacant block. So they pulled down those two houses. My, uh, it looks like they've subdivided that. And for years and years and years, this was always vacant block, even though it was marked off. That's new. I'm just trying to think. That's right. We go a bit further up, and I'll show you where the monastery ended. Ended. End. And from there, it was all vacant land, with the exception roughly about We'll go to the side of this place. This is as far as the monastery, all the way from there, all the way up to here came. And then from there, it was all paddock. You could actually walk all the way up to here. It was all paddock right through to here. Yep, as you can see, it's now a footy oval. That's still there. They even cut away a lot of the trees. Remember riding from one side of this park on our bikes. Wrecked many a bikes here. To ride from one side, get as much speed up as you can. Come up to this mound over the side just here. Just around there where that pole is. You probably see between the trees. And launch yourself going up there. See how high you can get. Miscalculated, misjudged. Went fairly high. Took myself out. Coat hanger myself and put the bike into the tree. Not long after that, <clears throat> the front forks broke, didn't they? <laughs> oh, we spent many a time playing around up here. The old factories over there, that was, uh, oh God, I can't even think of stonemasons or something. Factory over there. But you got all industrial right through there now, big park. And this was all paddock, used to have our bonfire night. All up here, all paddock. By God, I reckon sometimes Guy Fawkes night, we'd have so much wood there. Reckon if you got on the moon, you could see the bonfire from the moon. Or just because this is all nothing but paddock right through. We'll go a little bit further down to Morewell Avenue. So this is all relatively well. I knew it was here, but relatively new to a point. And they made this into a park, coming back up to Lad Street, near the guy in there, Finlay, that's right, Michael Finlay, and his mum. Dad died. Go around here, did know someone there. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment, give me a big thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos from Meadows Adventures. Ha <laughs> ha!